Wayne Douglas Hoffman, an infamous name in the rowing community. From the start, Wayne was destined for greatness. Exiting the womb at 15 miles per hour, Wayne had entered the record books as the fastest human birth in history, and the winning train just kept on rolling. You, you could say he was determined. Very determined. Determined indeed. Fastest runner. Fastest biker. Fastest breakdancer, fastest artist, and with the furthest jumper title well secured, only one element was left unconquered by the teenage prodigy. The water. Well, I would seen some stock footage of some early races in about the 1800s or so, and to be honest, their designs were simply flawed. There had to be an easier way to go faster on the water. There just had to be. For centuries, the concept of the floating boat was thought to be a myth. But, as usual, Wayne wouldn't take no for an answer, and he soon set out on a quest to create the first fully functioning boat. He would just keep talking about, he was obsessed, he would say, I need, we need to be on the water, and how do you, how do you be on the water? What goes on the water? It, it, nothing. We used to tell him, no, we used to tell him, how, how could this happen? He would say, he would say, you'll see, Mom, you'll see, I'll, I'll put on the water. I get things to float, and just, we thought it was crazy. After months of harsh and often painful work, the master of speed had his design before him. All that laid ahead was for it to be tested. Wayne Hoffman had successfully created the world's first floating boat, and the world of rowing was brought instantly to life. Wayne Hoffman? Yeah, I knew him. I met him in Art 4 at the turn of the century. He had his crazy water moving contraption. He expected to float on water. Have you ever heard of such a ridiculous thing? But I saw it. He was there. He floated. It was amazing. It was truly something to behold. Insane. Insane indeed. Wayne was propelled to superstardom practically overnight. Fans lined every waterway they could find to watch Wayne, the fastest man on the water, race the world's top athletes in the new sport of rowing. But with the growing fame came a growing ego, and Wayne became obsessed with being on top and in first. Yeah. You, that'll be a good one. You can put that on your wall. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Hoffman. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering if you uh, if you've heard of the uh, the new Romanian rowing team and uh, their star rower Dragos Alexandru. Yeah, I've heard of them. Uh, what is your reaction to them? Uh, anything to say? Um. Yeah. You can tell him one thing. If the guy had hair on his head. I would blow it off. That's how fast I'm going to be going. So bring it on, man. Come on. Uh, Mr. Hoffman. Yeah. Uh, we were wondering if there was going to be any change in your rowing strategy tomorrow. Why? Why would I change anything? I've been doing the same thing since the day I was born. It's called winning. Winning. There's no other strategy. Uh, Mr. Hoffman? Yeah? Uh, what are your plans for if you lose the race tomorrow? Next question. Uh, Mr. Hoffman? Yeah? Uh, yes, we were wondering... Uh... Is there going to be any change in your boat design? We understand that you invented the boat, but before tomorrow will there be any shape changes or anything else to help your speed? Let's just say this, um, yeah, there will be some, but you're not going to be able to see them. That's how fast I'm going to be going. I'm going to be so far away from your eyesight, you're not going to be able to see the changes. So, so just forget about it. Uh, Mr. Hoffman? Yeah, down in front. Uh, we were wondering, uh, what is that that you are wearing? Strange outfit, wouldn't you say? Um, this thing? My mom made it for me. Uh, M Mr. Hoffman? Mr. Hoffman? Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, anything you'd like to say to the new global rowing community or your fans? Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. I freaking made this for you guys, so go live it up. I mean, you can get to college for this now. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, no, no, no more questions, guys. I've had enough of this for today. Peace. April 4th, 1972, on a clear and sunny morning in Tampa, Wayne Hoffman explodes onto the race course with a gold medal on his mind. Within three minutes of the start, Wayne was in the lead for the championship, and he can practically smell the win. Wayne crosses the finish line in record time, with Alexandru over a minute behind. The championship is surely Wayne's, but then, something unexpected begins to happen. We just, uh... We just kept calling his name, and Wayne Hoffman, Wayne Hoffman, we yelled, and he just couldn't hear us. And I was, I was screaming, Wayne, enough, <laughs> enough, Wayne, and he, he just did not, he, he could not stop. He couldn't hear us, he kept saying, I can't he, he be just, stopped, I can't be stopped. It was just, you know it was, oh, oh. We, we had megaphones calling, it didn't work. <laughs> 
Thousands stared on as Wayne careened down the canal towards what would ultimately be his doom. A news camera was lucky enough to capture this historic and tragic event on film. Rower, champion, legend, Wayne Hoffman, a real American hero.